The Nile River Basin is the third largest river basin in the world after the Amazon and the Congo basins. The Nile River Basin covers 10 countries, Burundi, DR Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, the Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. It is a key concern of the countries to meet their growing demand for food, water, and energy. On 22nd of February of 1999, ministers responsible for water affairs of the 10 Nile Basin countries met and agreed to establish a transitional institution called the Nile Basin Initiative, NBI, with a mandate to foster cooperation and sustainable development of the Nile River for the benefit of the people. The Nile Equatorial Lake Subsidiary Action Program Coordination Unit based here in Kigali is one of the investment arms of the Nile Basin Initiative. What is the role of NELSAP? Implementation and identification of the in-country projects uh, which have significant impact on the transboundary uh, or the transboundary cooperative projects which are agreed upon by the countries and we support the countries with the preparation of studies, detailed designs. And if countries delegate to us, we support with the implementation of these projects. Over the years, the Nile Basin Initiative, through its investment arm, NELSAP, has implemented several projects in collaboration with the basin countries. We have uh, uh, like 134 projects, yeah? And uh, out of those 84 have been implemented, including this one, including the Rusumu. And we have the others, uh, we are screening them according to their time. What are some of these Nile Basin projects? An example is the Rusumu Hydropower Project, which is 80 megawatts. And this is shared between Rwanda, Burundi and Tanzania on the Akagera River. NELSAP, where I come from, is implementing the project on behalf of the three countries through financing from the World Bank uh, for the power plant and also African Development Bank for the transmission lines. The three countries are going to share power from here through the three transmission lines that are almost complete to Tanzania, to Rwanda and to Burundi. Many Nile Basin countries have a challenge of access to power. Through interconnection of the grid network of the countries, this can be addressed. But what are some of the regional power interconnection projects by NELSAP? We have also the interconnection of the NEL countries, that is Uganda, Kenya, Burundi, Rwanda, DRC, which is 946 kilometers. And all these uh, studies have been done by NELSAP, and currently this is being implemented by the countries. Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, that line was funded by the EU and the World Bank. Visibility studies has been completed. We have also carried out the DRC and uh, Rwanda through Goma to uh, Rubavo. That line was 112 kV. It's upgraded to 120. The Nile Corporation uh, for Climate Resilience Project, which is being funded by the World Bank through the project called the Cooperation in Waters in Africa at the tune of 30 million. Kenya has been a member of the Nile Basin Initiative from 1999. What are some of the key NELSA projects in Kenya? Uh, Kenya presented uh, Gogo Falls, Hydro uh, Multipurpose Dam. Uh, this is based on Kuja River and the studies were done by the country through the National Water Board. But the country requested NELSAP to uh, support in resource mobilization. Uh, we also have the Kenya-Tanzania transmission line. Uh, this runs from Isinya all the way to Singida. And it proceeds all the way to Iringa, Mbeya, to Zambia. Uh, NELSAP is the one that uh, facilitated these feasibility studies and the countries are doing the implementation. But the major project that I want to emphasize on um, 
is the Angololo Multipurpose uh, Water Resources Project. This is located on the border of Kenya and Uganda. The project is about uh, 31 uh, million cubic meters of uh, water storage and it will irrigate about uh, 4,000 hectares of land divided equally between Uganda and Kenya which will supply water base to two, about 270,000 people on both sides. We find that one facility used by more than one company. If they work together, they can reduce the cost, they can, they can share the resources, and they can increase the benefits. Cooperation on transboundary waters can bring about development and create a win-win situation for all and promote sustainable use of the resources of the Nile River.